Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fear. And I've just realized that moon has moved a lot between my last outro and this intro. This is actually a really impressive skybox in that case. But let's head inside. I don't think we're going to be able to get through this area. And as a matter of fact, it looks like they've already shut down the security shutters. Which makes sense, we already had at least one team on the inside, and now we're dropping more in, but the inside of this place is a total mystery box. We have no idea what's going on. All accounted for? Well, that means... That means it wasn't our little friend. Somebody's down there. Anybody up here at my level? I don't see them if they are. Nope! Yep. Yep. Da do. Yeah, that's the kind of range you hope to engage in. Right this way, sirs. God, I love it when things just go perfectly. Avoid... Avoid the potential issues. Oh, no. Yep, and sometimes things don't go as perfectly at all! Ow! Ow! Ow, there was nothing I could do about that. Except maybe charge them. I would have thrown a grenade of my own if I would had one. I think there's still one more. I see! saw you just tilt your hand like that and fire a shot off. That was so dumb. All right, uh, so we need we need more. We need more stuffs. How are we doing on ammo for this thing? Need to reload. And that's it for you. I'm a bug. I just crawl around and snip ya. Oh no, nobody gets to flank around. If you're gonna be pinned in one place, you have to you have to be keeping an eye out. Okay, so this is an issue, because now I don't know where they are. But thank you for the supplies. Somebody on my right, I think. Yep, grenade to wear. Dude, where do you think I am? <sighs> this is so... I hate using the machine guns because they don't result in a quick kill. Not to mention the recoil is nuts. In addition to spread. Yep, I'm right here. This is a place where I might have to use my powers. Yep. Not trying. Here we are. Oh, come on. You survived that first hit. Nope. Okay, so we're, we're going to pause a moment to talk about how sick that was. <laughs> Shotguns. Oh, let me pick up the health. Well, mystery voice, are you behind these units? I'm gonna find you. Only because looking for you makes me feel better about not knowing where you are. Well, that's that's all kinds of problems. Oh my god, they keep getting these like pinpoint grenades that it just doesn't matter where I go. 
Yeah, I, I opted to just reload. I, I was not dealing with that. Uh, yep. Okay, so now we're in a position where there's not a ton we can do. You know I'm here, you have the choke point, you have numbers. I have the high ground, but that's it. And I'm not going to be able to accurately deal with you. You're probably going to be coming around this way. Yep! Goodbye. Actually, we don't have any mines. Here's what we're going to do. Okay, we cannot jump over the rail, so that's an issue. That was kind of integral to my strategy. Yep. Allows you to take corners a bit more confidently. And I think we're good, but we're starting to run low on shotgun ammo. It's just not a whole lot of you really carry one. Now what? Skylight entry? I mean, that seems like a good idea. Yep. Ah, uh, I was going to use the slow-mo to, like, spin-shoot everybody that was around me. All right, we've successfully infiltrated Arm Cam Headquarters. Uh, S-Squad neutralized an ambush. Additional Special Forces assets have been scrambled. Efforts to establish negotiations with hostile forces have been unsuccessful. Well, they're kind of all one guy. And a better idea we definitely need uh, to see such a scene in what is otherwise such a clean room. Uh, this this is where the game really starts, I think, is once you've finally entered this building. Anything of use. I thought that was a grenade. It was just a cactus. This door has been breached. But no, I've got to. I've got to look all around. No, go through here. Well, I guess it's the only way we can go. Great. Frosted windows. So we'll always know what's coming. Something just knocked that door down, but who are you? Of course not. So whatever presence I was dealing with has certainly taken over this building as well. Maybe it doesn't really have a location. <laughs> I'm just gonna take that and go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Stay out of my way. You invited me. I mean, honestly, what was that whole thing on the rooftop in the slums about, if not because you wanted me here? So you expect me to sit here and listen to notes beneath that ceiling? A ceiling which I'm going to be fully aware of the entire time we're here. It's an office building. It's going to all be drop ceilings. I wonder what kind of secrets could be unlocked exploring an area that is new and alien to human experience. I have to say, I'm kind of grateful that the game is having like audio logs instead of making me sit there and read notes. And it's keeping them short, so 
I I'm actually going to take a moment to complain about this. I've complained about it before, but I'm going to do it again. Notes in games, too many of them tell their story exclusively through, like, documents that are left all around for no reason, uh, addressed to no one, well, except for maybe the player. A uh, great new reason to he hate these office blinds. Can I really not push through them? Come on, let me through. Wow, it actually is impossible. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. There we go. God, that took way too long. And so, see, in my opinion, the purpose of notes in games before they became super overused is to just help set the mood in a way that isn't necessary to enjoy the game or give you little bits of lore that can, like, fill things out a little bit. with something as simple as that, you get a little slice of life in the place you're going through before the events of the game. Thus seeing it more as an actual place instead of just, well, a game environment. They didn't know what was going on, but they also didn't know how bad it would be. Would it be worth my time to chuck a grenade up there? There's something in this side room. There is something in this side room! Whoa, what are you, what are you? Okay, Armacam employs clone ninjas. You were just chilling in there in the corner like a moth. Oh, you're the... Okay, here's the plan. Oh, no, yeah, never mind. You seized on the opportunity. I was going to try and throw a grenade. But it wasn't to be. There you are. Oh, you can, you can climb around in the ceilings. Oh, my God, you've actually... You've added drop ceilings as a gameplay mechanic. And you hit real hard. You're cornered now, though. Never mind. You're super fast and super strong. This is really dangerous. I know you're still alive, so when are you gonna... Yeah, sorry, I cannot stand not reloading when I blatantly watch you take a shot to the face and just not die. Uh, I'm gonna try my other strategy again. I'm not gonna save scum much, but, like... Times like this, I kind of have to. Goodbye. You survived. Bang. Bang. I'm actually starting to wonder if you're not invulnerable while you're invisible. Because that's kind of what it felt like. I don't even know if it takes you out of invisibility. But I can hear another one. Yep. Well, at the very least, does one of those things. I still can't tell because you were able to get really close. I really hate this flashlight mechanic. There is no reason for it to be limited. You have three new messages. First message from... Chuck Haberger. It's Chuck Haberger. I've analyzed the readings and I've recommended we suspend Perseus till we can figure out what's causing the synchronization. The patterns are identical to what we saw last time. But obviously the consequences would be a hell of a lot worse. Next message from... Chuck Haberger. I got your message.
documents can also give you a little bit of insight that leads you to more questions to ask. So Fettel was cloned and raised here, if not just straight up abducted. So maybe if he was Origin, then maybe this Alma is Perseus. All right, well, we should be able to break some glass in the back of this place. Oh, I just realized there's like a vault when you go through a window. So we probably can do that. Where you're at. Yeah, the dealing with you is going to be problematic. In the dark, we need to... We kind of need to corner ourselves. Because all we can really do... You're an enemy that we can only really react to. Because trying to go on the hunt for ourselves is kind of a fool's errand when it comes to you guys. Keep thinking I hear things. Trade that. Yep. So we might be up here with the guy who just evaded us. You hear that? Just a little moan in my ear. Yep, no chance of any of this collapsing. Yep! Is there something there? Well, there's something there now. Okay, so it does... It can hit you because it makes you... Ow! Oh, there's two! There's two! There's two! And that's how we do that. Man, you have all the mobility. Why did you corner yourself that way? Well, I'm certainly glad you did. Oh, there's a door. And if I were a kid experiencing this game back in the day... There is no chance I wouldn't be smashing every single window I come across. All right, it's uploading. Looks like the Icarus program got shut down in favor of something called Perseus, which, from what I can tell, is funded by DOD. I'm guessing that's where Fettel and his soldiers came from. Is that me bumping into something, or did one of you just drop down? I can hear them moving around up in the ceilings. What was that just there? Huh, I can do like a jump kick maneuver. That's kind of neat, I'll keep that in mind for next time somebody's right next to me. What? It's Norton Mapes. I'm an engineer. Shit, it's a civilian. Give him a comm link. Hello? Who are you people? The good guys. Are you all right? Oh, sure. I'm having a hell of a time. You said you're an engineer? Can you help me get into the network? What am I, an IS lackey? Tell you what, you disable the local security system, and I'll see what I can do about the server. I can disable it remotely once I'm logged in. No, you can't. It's on a separate network. 
Do they really give this guy comedy music? It's back that way. Why do you want us to bring down the security system anyway? Never mind why. You want my help, that's the price. I'm just wait here. I mean, that might not be a good idea. You might want to stick close to me at all times. I mean, have you seen some of the stuff that's going on? It's wild out there. Wow, you are king of a huge domain, aren't you? Uh, which leads me to believe that a double cross may be imminent. I think I found his workstation. So we got a real catch here, huh? Now that it was super easy to listen to over the sound of all those bottles and, uh, and cans clattering. And who's here? You're down there. Oh, you're watching all those corners. I may be able to do something with this. And unless you just spot me in the dark, that's fine, too. Yep. Oh, where did you guys get off to? My whole ambush depended. You're not doing stuff like this and moving around. Nobody over here. I think you have to... I think you're going to be forced through here. You're going to toss a grenade if I let you. So I'm just gonna not let you there go. Are you down? Looks like I, I love that moment where you're just like waiting to find out if it really is over. Because it is just as often as it isn't. You have to be diligent even at the end of a gunfight. Whoa! Yep. My finger was not where it needed to be for that. Come on. That seemed a tad dramatic. Where are we going? God, the way this office is laid out, it really is the back rooms. All right, a whole bunch of ammo and grenades and health and mines. Everything we could ask for. And we are looking good. Okay, so we're going to have to open these gates. We're going we're gonna to have to open these gates, so it's pretty clear what it's asking of me. So let us just take a moment to set things up as they're needed. Yep. Boop. There we go. And one up here should be nice. And let's get started. That should do it. Mr. Mapes, do you copy? Mr. Mapes! Where is that idiot? Fuck it. We'll just have to do this the hard He way. appears to have okay. ditched. Find that server and reboot it. Wait, really? I mean, really right now. You're not going to you're not going to send wave after wave of enemies my way? I mean, that looked primed for a defense mission. Well, okay. I guess we'll take these, which we just learned we can pick them up.
I, I am in astonishment that we're actually walking back all this way with no trouble. Yep. I have an idea. Yep. We got this. I switched to grenades at some point, I guess. Well, that got their attention. Yoo-hoo. There we go. That's the start I wanted. Oh, God. <laughs> the consequence is so brutal. Did I just see you moving there? <laughs> they definitely look. They're just having to look over at that. Ah, oh, it's like I've created my own warning sign. All right, you bang. You were... Hey, you're facing the wrong way, bud. Yeah, that was a little bit long range for this. But thankfully, we can get some more ammo. Are there any more of you? Not that I can see. I don't know how he would have been able to get past you. Come on. Yep. You sure are. Wow, absolute devastation. That's what I like to see. I also see your buddy peek in the corner back there. So I'm gonna have to keep firing on him. God, I'm having such a difficult time aiming this rifle in particular. There you go. Wow, you got lit up. What about other things? Well, here's you two. Okay, I got completely turned around. I didn't even realize we had left the area we were in. These gates are open. This is Jin. We're on the roof. Heading inside. Copy. Proceed to rendezvous. We have access. And it's a good thing we don't need to know how to use any of this complicated equipment. There's just a, a little boop the button right here that does it all. Okay, I'm showing that the network has been rebooted. Good job. It'll take a minute for the system to come back online. So am I just waiting here, or...? Yep. Alright, so let's get ready. Oh. And while you're disoriented from that, oh, you guys are different. Or at least I think you are. Well, perhaps not so different. Well, I'm in a pickle now. There we are. I've got no armor left. And I'm healing perhaps prematurely, but I'm finding so many of these things. Great. You're gonna force me out into the open where they have the high ground and I've got nothing. You know, obscured glass of any kind really enhances the spookiness of anything behind it. Frosted, wavy, all the flavors of glass. And this looks like a shotgun locale. You're heading toward the last known location of that Delta team. Secure the site and wait for Jen. 
So are we actually going to have some backup? Something tells me you'll always find reasons why I can't have it. You've seen her, haven't you? She is the original. I just picked up that old transmitter somewhere ahead of you. Be careful. I was made from her, and I was born from her. We are separate, but we are one. I mean, separate but one, I'm sure you share a psychic link. But why do you need her then? I wonder if this thing would actually damage me if it were to, to get near me. I just can't get a good look at you. She is a prisoner, floating in darkness, like the unborn in the womb. Soon I will find her, and I will set her free. Shit, I lost them again. Fuck. I didn't. I would love to know what you see on your end, but I'm sure it doesn't account for what I am. I, I love the idea of having, like, the support voice on the radio who is seeing something but couldn't possibly comprehend what we're seeing. That is a whole lot of blood. A whole lot of blood. My God. And only a couple of what skeletons. There was a lot of anger in this room. That's great. Got anything useful to add? I don't see any bullet holes. There's no brass lying around either. These guys didn't fire a shot. Then what killed them? I don't know. Well, figure it out. All right, buddy, get moving. Metal's gotta be close. I'm not even sure where to start. That was brilliant. <laughs> Maybe a chemical agent? Right in front of them, and by the time we process it, it's gone. We know there's no use in even trying to bring their attention to it. All right, I went back and I don't think there's any reason for me to get in the elevator. There we go. Remains of missing SBOD team have been found. A uh, combat operative will attempt to intercept Fettel. You keep saying that, but I'm starting to doubt my ability. Something's going on up ahead. Okay, well that's awesome. You know, I feel like darkness just doesn't matter in this game. And while you're concussed... So, I'm in a pickle. Yep. You're more of a pickle now. Oh god, I can't see a thing. Ah. Nope, down, down, down. I'm trying to switch weapons, but it's happening in slow-mo. Is there bullet penetration? That's critical to know right now. Smoke clears, and I have no idea which of these two enemies are still alive. There we go. There's at least one more out there. Alright, we, we need at least one good pistol charge, right? Yep. Won't be necessary, but these things are actually a bit better than I was expecting. I mean, if we use them, like, exclusively when we're in slow-mo, I think these could actually do some damage. Yep. You have one new message. First message from... Harlan Wade. Mike, it's Harlan Wade. Chuck Haberger seems to think that people are blowing smoke up his ass on this Perseus situation. Now, I don't know which one of you shit heels over there is calling the shots, but you'd better stop dicking around fast, because the readings are getting worse by the minute. It's really a simple choice. You can either listen to the expert advice you're being given, or you can break... 
So lots of internal strife and uncertainty even before the big breakout. And I'm guessing, like, he was always meant to be able to control this army, obviously for them. But I guess they just didn't have any mechanism for blocking that connection. Alright, so what's gonna happen here is grenade out. And while they're over there, we move in and do all of that. Did you survive? I don't think so. I don't I don't think you did. I just love the feeling of having like multiple ways to deal with the situation and all of them perfectly valid, but each of them coming with their own challenges. Like so many stealth action games, like they feel like if you don't do it the stealthy way, you've done it wrong. We learned more. Hold this. Wow, that did nothing. Um, okay, plan B. Hold them in place. Yep. Yep, I kind of thought you might try that. Yep. And now that corner is completely dark and full of smoke and dust that will block my flashlight. I did not mean to do that. But it's right next to the X key. You really gotta control that recoil, that's the big thing. See, with the shotgun and the slow-mo, I have the advantage in close quarters. And when they just won't fall into the trap, that- you just flip the table. Is that dynamic or scripted? Out of the way, that's really cool. Uh, you... you have to make that noise whenever you do anything in slow motion with two guns. Get me out of here! Get you out of- there? Uh, I'll try. Finally. Oh my god. Can you do something about these bombs? Uh, Dead mother, we've located a hostage. Sounds like he's wired up with explosives. Roger, I'll send somebody to help out. Give him a comm link. Why did we do this? Hello? You guys special forces or something? That's right. Just sit tight, Mr. Bishop. Aldous Bishop. Demo team's on its way. Okay, buddy. There's some elevators near your position. Secure the area and escort the team back to Bishop. Okay, really hope they can do something for you, bud. You are in an unenviable position. But first we have to secure the elevator. Where's that? For that matter, which way do we come in through? I think we have to go this way. A couple of areas off to the side where we can hide. It's going to be multi-directional, very dark over this way, but they probably go to the same place. Yep, it's a loop. Someone's messing with the security system. They may be trying to box you in. Oh, I'm sure they are. Do I have any... I don't have any mines. Plenty of health around, as always. Yep! I love how that guy actually had, like, a moment of panic. Bit of a waste of a grenade, but I expected more. I love how that guy actually stopped and, like, cowered for a moment, and then, and only then, decided to, uh, do something about it. That's actually kind of neat, if it's intentional. That's a lot of dudes. This is actually more worthy of a grenade.
And that's what the slow-mo is for. It's for getting in amongst them. Oop. Nope. And that's why I need the slow-mo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, uh, let's talk about this big buddy. Let's try one of these. I have no armor to speak of. Uh, yep. And you've got a real tough weapon. Uh, what I can do is uh, toss out of one of these. Nope, come on, come on. How do I? Oh, right, G. Usually preceding a big gunfight, but then it really slows down when it becomes a question of who's going to break first. This might hurt me from this distance, but actually I know you're right behind the counter, so boom. But I still don't know if that worked. <laughs> it did. Oh, I like this idea. Why don't we do this like in the foundations and just forget the whole thing? We're through. All right, right this way. I got a real mess for you to clean up. Man, I should have called in sick today. Yeah, today would have been a good day to do it. Seriously, you have no idea the forces at play here. Bomb expert? That's right. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Just get this shit off me. Please. Whoever wrecked this is definitely a pro. Is that supposed to make me feel better? You may be a pro, but I'm a master. A fire alarm. It was triggered at a security office on that floor. You'll need to shut it off to get the elevators back online. Okay, well, I guess it's a job for me again. So the area of the city itself is actually significant. That's interesting to note. Not to mention the big boss's daughter is on staff. Maybe some kind of psychic contamination? Yeah, this doesn't look good. Oh, he's been here as well, huh? He's deliberately sabotaging us? Could have been today. <laughs> uh, 
Howdy. Alright, so the way this works is you're not going to be there when I go around, right? Oh my god! You actually- oh! Alright, well, I hope the bomb squad has good luck in their endeavors, but for now, I'm gonna be happy to get back to some kind of squad again. I'm sure it'll always find some reason why I can't rejoin them, but good god. I thought my horror instincts were so good. And I guess they're being proven right right now. Better we're not getting to that roof. Done. It's so weird, though. They subverted the whole see someone through the window and they're gone when you go to their side. It subverted that trope before it was really a trope. Kind of interesting to see. This is like to outlast levels of Revenge Rampage. And I'm, I'm getting the impression that that's what this is. This is revenge. The data's uploading. Well, this confirms the point of Perseus was to train telepathic commanders to work with clone soldiers. Although it looks like Paxton Fettel was the only commander of the program. The weird thing is they refer to him as the second prototype. Wait, so he's not first, he's second. That's ripe for interpretation. Oh god, why are we doing this? Why are we- stop, you bird! I don't need your sass. Can we open this from this side? No. What I should have done right there is be more aggressive. I should have moved in instead of panicking and moving back. There we go. There we go. See, you knew to be aggressive. Didn't help you, but you knew to do it. Your body armor really counts for a lot. You're not bullet sponges, but any second you survive is a second I'm exposed and you can return fire. And in that moment where you duck, I always, I always hesitate because I think you died. All right, but that's two more down, or three more. Get all that juicy stuff. Yep, you know I'm here. They might try to just nade this corner. But if I can creep on up... Actually, you know what? Let me take my own vice. Aggression. Uh, for example... This game wants you to push up. That's your... That's your biggest ally. And it just feels so cool to play at every step of the way. Have I mentioned that? Oh god. Alright, so this is gonna be a job for barrel shooting. And it probably won't kill you, but it will disorient you. There we go, and you even got zapped by the box. I didn't even mean to do that. Ow! And then I was the video game enemy. But there wasn't much I could do about it without giving up this position, and there was nowhere to move to where that wouldn't also happen. But all's well that ends well.
I mean, sure, everything else that's going on today, I'm sure that's exactly how it is. Yep. Check it. Yep, check it. I thought there would be somebody moving down the hall closer. Were you the one assigned to that job? Wow, I cannot, I cannot get something to land where the crosshair is. There we go, you didn't even react to that. I don't think you even saw it there. Yep. All right, we gotta push up. Yep. Yep. I hate it when you shoot me, like, while you're reacting. To me, that seems a bit unfair. Yep. And boom. And boom. And kaboom. Wait, no, I need to get where you were. Oh my god, there's so many guys right here. Oh no, oh no. How did I come out of that better than the previous engagements? Yep. Situational awareness, bud. This has got to be the lowest we've been on health kits this entire time. Now, what's up here? Health kits, which is a good start. And mines. Could always use more mines. And... A collectibible. Here, God, half the scares in this game have been me tripping over objects. And the end. Fear operative liberated a hostage, Aldous Bishop, who claimed that he was interrogated about Harlan Wade a senior Armacam researcher. Wade's whereabouts are unknown. Bishop also reported that he's a colleague of Wade's daughter, Alice. It's assumed she'll have been targeted by replica forces and may already be a prisoner. Alright, so we're supposed to rendezvous at the landing zone. Now that we've got information from him, I do not expect much. Nope, we need to put a stop to this. Ate that. There we are. Yep. Wow. You know, I've done it to a lot of people, but the gore surprises me every time. Still. Nobody else here. Okay, that just blatantly went through you. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of that now. Boom! Yeah, that grenade didn't go how you wanted, did it? <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, aggression, it rewards you every time. And then if you're me... There you go. That was an effective nade. <laughs> Yeah, it's starting to become very clear that I can make my own luck by just pushing in more often. So that was kind of sick. <laughs> I find myself saying that in virtually every encounter and I love it. do it all. There we go. Uh, and you're gone. And here's these guys. Being all a problem and such. Got it. Hope you're wrong. 
Well, that sucks for him, but why are security forces attacking us? You would think they would be on the same side, considering we're fighting the guys that are killing them. This way. Oh. I, I wonder, are they also being mind controlled? Or do they still have some information they don't want getting out? Okay, this is not... This is not the type of engagement the player was designed to be able to win, so come on. There we go. Yeah, embrace the John Wick. This actually feels really cool. I need to do this more often. But God, the accuracy is killing me on anything but the shotgun. And the shotgun only because it's got huge spread. Yep, there's another guy. Once again, did all of you see how friggin' sick that was? Yeah, get down, you. Oh! God, there are so many of you. Yeah, but it looks like we're still doing good on health. No real armor to speak of. Was there some? Oh, there is some down there. Almost missed it. Good God. This thing can go so in one way or the other. Like, this thing, you are overpowered. You're massively overpowered, but only if you play it the right way. This game is the perfect example, and I'm gonna end up doing a video essay on this at some point. I always talk about it, of good difficulty. And good difficulty to me is difficulty which doesn't just arbitrarily kill you at points to give the appearance that it's a hardcore game catering to a hardcore clientele. Good difficulty is what forces you to play the game in the intended fashion. And that's exactly the impression I'm getting here. Oh, you wanted me to jump down. All right. Ah! We need reinforcements. Oh. You guys are like ridiculously still alive. Anybody else? Nobody wants to try nothing. Yep, there they are. I knew you'd show up. But I imagine you guys probably don't have grenades, right? Heads up. Well, I guess there's our answer. You're just not very good with them. You okay? <laughs> no, buddy. No, he's not okay. Ow. And that happened! Well, that guy gets to live. He has no idea, but he's the luckiest person in this entire facility. Well, at least until one of those clones kills them. He just fell down a skyscraper. By the way, I could have helped them with that. That's going to cause issues. Come on now. There we go. Yep. Whoa! Well, that was kind of nuts. All right. Uh. Well, that happened. Didn't expect it to be that dramatic. And now we have a new problem, but at least this door is open. Reflex boost. Not getting through there. And that fireball accidentally helped us. Don't do that. Oh, there's stuff this way. There we are. 
you. So that way is inaccessible. Well, that's a huge chasm of death in this building for some reason, but yeah, there's always down below. The fact that the lighting is all dynamic is so... It's just another layer of what's so cool about all this. Because not only is it, like, visually awesome to look at, not only does it mean you can sometimes get jump-scared by your own shadow, but it makes the gunfights themselves so much more dynamic to have all these different things reacting to you. All right, uh, can we turn you off in there? Uh, well, oh, maybe we can jump down here. There we go. I do not like walking into the darkness like this, but the stupid flashlight... Uh, Darwin, I appreciate the help, but I don't know if you can do much against the forces of the supernatural. Although I'm sure you've eliminated plenty of clones on the way here. I mean, that Bone Brigade training, I'm sure, pays off from time to time. There we are. I mean, are we really that opposed to just letting a gas explosion rip through this place at this point? They left her in darkness. They left her to die. That was one of those things where I actually appreciate the scare cord because it told me to be alert. I didn't see what I was supposed to be alert for. And it was one of those jump scares where I'm just looking for a long time until I finally see it. And that makes it so much worse, seeing it on my own terms. Or at least at my own pace. No encounter? What about over here? It's just whenever you put all these ramps in front of me, I've got to assume there's a reason. Well, what if we raise those waters? And it seems that's the solution to a lot of things. And which means we have to go even deeper. Stop, you're so loud, physics noises. Let's go. Just go. Oh no, this is a real long way. Yep. Imagine if there had been a whole squad just right here. Well, that did something somewhere. Okay, so now the question of the day is gonna be, yep, never mind. Grenade out. I think that did some damage. Uh, now you. It's gonna be about rounds on targets. Yep. No, 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 no. Don't let them move up. I'm the only one that gets to move around here. Now your gun is far more accurate than mine. You're gonna do more damage than me at that range, so... Mines. Mines are how we do this. And it might take a while for you to get here, because you're very slow moving, but I can wait. There you go. And have another. Actually, we should be prepared to jump down and escape, right? If we can't do just that, which is very, very good. You took a grenade, two mines, and a shotgun blast to the face. But I like how you guys are used sparingly. You're not just like an annoying thing thrown into every fight. You always seem to choose the right moments. I really hope this will start moving. Thank you. Here's our only cover if something were to go wrong. Operative will traverse research area to intercept Fettel. Yeah, you... I love how there's some variation of that objective every time. Yeah, that's how it always is. He's always one step ahead.
I love that little moment of panic. And you can exploit that. Just makes you feel so cool. Okay, uh, grab that. All these. The more grenades, the better. They're really so freaking useful. is much more secure. Alright, looks like we're still good. Any collectibles? I mean, if there's going to be collectibles, they'd be in a space like this, right? Oh my god. This friggin' guy. Is there any reason why I shouldn't just blow his brains out? Who's there? Oh, it's you. Christ, I thought you were a goner. Mr. Bates, you're still alive. No thanks to you guys. What are you doing here? The, the elevators are offline, and those soldiers are everywhere. Now, you've got to find a security office and override the lockdown. You gonna stay put this time? On my honor. Oh, it just doesn't work. Man, I have a feeling for an NPC, seeing the player quick save is like watching a cop turn off their body cam. Alright, so what are we doing? Wait, no, there's gotta be there's gotta be something we can do here, right? A ladder or something? Yep. Oh, we can't go through there, but maybe we'll have to later. I think our shotgun should be our normal point weapon in case. Those ninjas are around. Another side lab. There they come. Yoo-hoo! Oh, never mind. Yoo-hoo! Oh god, you're leaping around. That didn't work out for you, did it? <laughs> and my mind did get somebody. Yep. You know, for guys that appear to have night vision, I'm really outclassing you in the dark. There's still somebody out there, though. Yep, there's you. Keep stuff between you and me. I really am too fast. Anybody else? Be ready on the control key. Slow-mo is my panic button. Because I find that in games, most of your woes will come from panicking. And if you can control that, as in this game... Things become so much easier for you. Oh man, guys, it's so hard to fight you. It's so hard to see through your clouds of blood. Uh, I'm gonna go back and explore a little bit. There was a path that I missed. Right through here. This game really is like Half-Life. Uh, we're still good on health. Wow, we, we really have to just listen to a message next to this thing, huh? That's kind of sad. But also, if he knows what's going on, it's kind of hard to say whose side I'm on here. I mean, look, it's a cloning program. They're essentially breeding people to be used as soldiers, and, like, clones are still... Clones are still human. Presumably. I actually don't know the exact specifics of these guys. Alright, 
uncharted territory now. Doesn't seem good. Yep, you gotta get it in just the right spot where there's nowhere for them to go. In this case, coming up the stairs, do they go down and lose their advantage, or do they rush up and get shot? Did I get them all? Here's so. We're full. We're actually full on everything. Wow. Wow. Multi-rocket launcher. I mean, I hate to leave my other rifle, but I definitely love to see what this does. Well, let's just be careful not to use it by accident. Yep. Yeah, yeah, target spotted. That was careless of me, I know. Yep! I think that hit me directly. Wow, even in slow-mo, my view is disoriented. I get one good ambush on them, they get one on me. Well played. Hmm. I'm not getting through there. Yep, that's great. That's yep. I can say the same thing about you! Ow! Yeah, doing that is what saved me right there. Give them a taste of their own medicine. Okay, this is bullet resistant. Hmm. Maybe now would be a good time to try out that rocket launcher. Oh, nope, there you are. Alright, come on. Come collect your meds through the window. That was a lot of movement. Let's see what's still over there. Yep. No issue. No issue remaining at all. Now, did that count as... Did that count as one shot? It counted as three. So, ow. You are still alive. Nope, get in there. There we go. The rest I will save for if there's a heavy. Intrigue. Let's get this open. There we are. And find this buddy again. <sighs> You're really not going to let me just kill him. Because I totally got him there. Yep. Up we go into the elevator shafts. We fell all this way, and now we've got to climb all the way back up. Man, you would really think that this guy would have better self-preservation instincts. Like, maybe... Maybe making friends with the people who are slaughtering their way through this building could work out better for you in the long run. Like, it's just so, like pointlessly antagonistic, that it almost feels like natural selection if he dies as a result. Uh, Armacam engineer Norton Mapes has again resisted rescue effort by Fear Point Man. Paxton Fettel's position has remained stationary. Every effort must be made to reach Fettel before he locates. Just different variations of that the whole time. But you know what? I think uh, I'm just about out of time. It's kind of hard because, like, this game doesn't really have too many, like, big climactic moments. It is just kind of like, you know, crawling around from one office to the next, from one vent or service area to the next. Uh, but it all flows like butter.
Yeah, oh, didn't get far, did you? You again. See this button? I wonder what this does. Okay, so you're now directly trying to kill me. And I have no reason not to return the favor. None. You are now considered hostile. Oh, we can get into this elevator. That doesn't seem to do anything. Now the question is, now what? Can't open this. Yeah, I, I can't figure out where I'm supposed to go, so I, I guess I'll work that out next time. Next time I can hopefully friggin' strangle this guy, or better yet, blow him away with the intense gore we've been seeing throughout this. I mean, wow, I have rarely seen such a hateable character in a video game. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one. I mean, seriously, there's even like an aspect where like, I hate the environments he's been through.